the morning. Don't eat it. Good morning. Hey, hey, it's your girl Andrea. My eyes are watering. It's Chile this morning, but we're gonna go do morning chores. So come along with me. Just come. Come on. I'm not gonna lock you in the office. Good girl. I never remember where Slade is. You would think I'd get that figured out. Go check everybody in here. Still have some feed. A couple coughs this morning. Weather well, switches, man. How are you? Good morning. So if any of you <clears throat> remember my old lady, my 17 year old cow that unfortunately we had to put down in August, this is her last calf. And I don't know why he's so tame, because he's not a bottle baby. I mean, she was tame, but he's really tame. See you later. Everybody looks good. I've been weaned since September 15th, so been all over a couple weeks now and they obviously are not crying anymore they're just kind of existing with life on their own doing really well a um, couple coughs here and there but we've had really big temp swings from 90 degrees to <laughs> almost freezing so they have to deal with that and there's a little bit of stress that comes with weaning just because it's weaning but they are doing excep exceptionally well they went on feed incredibly well especially the ones that i mean most of these calves were in this barn anyway so they were already eating tmr so they weaned super easy because they automatically st they kept eating and the other ones were like oh i'll follow my new friends like it just went well but they are growing like weeds they're all pretty chunky a couple coughs here and there uh, we're watching them making sure they have to treat anybody but they're doing well they're doing well if they have a cough they're not actually showing any of their signs it's just a little bit of cough and they're coming out of it. It's just kind of working its way through everyone. Kind of like kids at daycare. One gets sick, they kind of all get sick just a little bit. They're all just like not sick enough to treat. We're not going to throw meds at them if they don't need it. They're just a little bit of an irritated cough type of deal every so often, but not bad at all. Not bad at all. Now, if I came out here and everybody was coughing 24 seven, we would treat um, with CTC crumbles in the feed, which essentially is antibiotics in their feed, but they would have to be very loud, like you wouldn't be able to hear me talk, them coughing. That would be when we would do that mass treatment, which really is not a common thing. We haven't done it for quite a few years now. And it's like a five day deal. And obviously it would be out of their system by the time they become beef because these calves are very young. But that's an example of when that would happen. Um, I don't even have a video of it because we haven't had it happen in a while, but that's when like everyone is sick and they are very sick and we need to do something to help them. So they're not <laughs> miserable and, you know, losing the battle. But the bottle is at the house. There we get the bottle. Dad's feeding. Hey Pace, <laughs> you waiting to go for a ride in the golf cart or what? Paisley, is there your golf cart? <laughs> so when we do evening chores, we just leave the bottle in the house and I forgot this morning, so. It's just chilling right here. There it is in all of its glory. I do that. Mix a bottle for Mr. Oops, the Oopsies Feedlot Calf. Who, by the way, is doing much better on the bottle. Water, so it mixes. That's more room tempish water, so it's 
not hot but not cold for him. There we go. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Feeding MGA to our fat cattle. Well, I'm in the feed. Just the top dress on top. Keeps the heifers from hopefully cycling so they're not coming into heat, which therefore prevents all of the steers from riding the absolute like ridiculous amount out of them so they're like not eating and they're annoyed and it actually can lead to like feet problems injuries things like that nobody wants to have like be jumped for 24 hours straight by somebody so we're feeding mga to hopefully limit that and there's somebody in heat every once in a while but it's not every single heifer so it's it's, it's working which is good there's a bottle you hold on to that She's like, I'll keep it clean. Are you stuck? No, you're not. Get out of there. Get out of there. I'll bring you food in a little bit. So these are some of our fainting goats. These are all potential billies or weathers that are still for sale. Um, we're keeping him to breed our own. He's tame, as you can tell. Uh, Billy, Billy, two weathers right here. And then outside. <laughs> what are you doing? Outside we have more, I'll show you in a second, but Oops is hungry, so I'm gonna go get the bottle. Hey, buddy. Are you hungry? Come here. Hi. <laughs> Little raspy. I gave you some meds yesterday because the weather's been changing a bunch, huh? We left his friends with him just because then he's not by himself. But you guys can tell, he's actually growing. He's starting to eat a little bit of actual feed. Doing well. The cats are waiting for some milk. <laughs> Cause he usually doesn't finish the last just a little cause of his a little bit of a sickness he's got going on. But Oops is doing well. You guys are ridiculous. You're cute though. I know. Darn weather, darn stress. Not so great start to life. Being born and from a mom that wasn't supposed to be pregnant. Whoops, that was a before us situation, but you're doing it. You're doing better, slowly but surely. We'll keep you going, bubbies. You be nice to him. You're kind of a bully. Last little bit. Do you need something? <laughs> Your mom didn't have any milk for you. So you should be nice to him because his mom didn't have great milk for him. I had meds yesterday, so I can't give you any more, but hopefully they help kick in. He likely just has scar tissue in his lungs now, so we just gotta keep him comfortable and coming through it. But good job, bucks. Good job. Go eat some food. See, you have energy today. You have energy today. Yeah. Oh, do you like the head scratches? Huh? morning rooster this is our coming two-year-old that was born here last year waiting to get cut and then he'll have more friends but we also have his full sister coming home this weekend so he will have a friend otherwise the rest of them are over at our acreage we have like eight or nine horses so there's plenty of them <laughs> plenty of them around but that's rooster he's just a baby a crazy baby I gotta pitch some hay to the last group of goats, go get feed for these hooligans. And then we're done in here. Hey girls, good morning. So these are all the females we are keeping back from this year's babies. If you have goats, <laughs> pro tip, animal crackers, easiest way to get them tamed. They love them. That's Jitters. She had a little bit of oxygen deprivation when she was born. We found her half stuck, so she shakes. <laughs> And then these are more of females with billies as well. So that grown one in the back is one of the boys. Um, that's Cricket. She had her first baby this year. Sapphire has not had a baby yet, but she looks very pregnant. 
Willard is a weather. He's the only goat that like doesn't serve a purpose, I guess. Um, I couldn't let him go. He's my favorite. But a bunch of females here. Well, babies around Christmas, so if you want to see all that, stay tuned for about then first of the year type of deal. Oh, they don't have anything. Hi, Willard. Good morning. Good morning, bubbies. So this literally gets top dressed on top, just like that. All the way down, good to go. Junkies are eating. Dad's feeding the last pen of cows over there. The reason these guys get it is because they're not gonna be breeding, having babies and like that. They're headed to become beef and byproducts. We would never feed it to any of the breeding stock because it can cause problems. But there's the Chunkies. We have a load going out this week or next week, I think. So another load. Not even Larry. You guys are ridiculous. It was the red one. Not even Larry. So this is going to the hoop barn to oops his friends in him. He's actually starting to eat just a little. See? Oops is eating now. Happy, happy, happy. Good old four buckets of feed, so these guys are eating like crazy, and now that Oops is eating, we'll probably start bringing a little bit more. But, you know, July calf versus <laughs> uh, March and April. What's up, Mr. Boy? <laughs> no fainting. See? I never want to do it when I'm recording. Hey, bubs. Yeah, that's my finger. Stiff, not fainting. I don't just do it on command, guys. It's really lame. Just stiff. Nobody's gonna faint. I tried. I am very bad at getting it on video because it's random. Like when they're excited for feed in the morning and you're not like ready to record it. So maybe someday I'll get it on video again. I haven't in a long time. Dang goat. One, two, three, four, five. Ed's walking better, so that's good. But they're all here. Making sure nobody's sneaking out, hiding in the machine shed again. Hi, babies. Should we go check faster? Mr. Bully's by himself. His job must be done. He's been by himself a bunch lately because the rest of the cows are way in the back over there. Yep. So he's right there and all the cows are back on the hill. And normally he's with them, so he must not be worried about it anymore. Good, hear that snap? It means we're good to go. The hot fence is important because we have pastures that are right next to cornfields and cows really love corn. So if it's not hot, they will go looking for something to eat when pastures are slowly disappearing and be in the cornfield. Nobody wants that. It's not good for them. It's not good for the crops. So it's gotta be hot. Gotta feed my hooligans. I want you guys stay away from the nonsense. I don't know where the rest of them are. So they're putting dirt on top of our septic system tank, all that good stuff, finishing that up. And then they'll be done today. Then it's on to walls and all of the rest of the fun of the basement. Right, the sun is bright. I'm glad the sun is out. Things will dry up. But dad's gonna haul in this load of beans that is on the semi from Tuesday before we got the rain. I'm gonna go tackle all of my to-do lists after <laughs> traveling back and all the good stuff that is behind. So it'll be really exciting office work, which none of you wanna see. But thanks for watching. Until next time, Ness and I will see you then. Hey, come here. Did you go inside? Make sure you subscribe if you have any questions, let me know, but I'll see you next time.